this video, I'll show you how to create sample areas in VSP. Sample areas are these colored areas that can contain sample locations. Rooms are a special type of sample area. For information about creating rooms, see video R100. To begin creating a sample area, navigate to Edit, Sample Areas, Define New Sample Area. Or, you can choose the New Area button on the main toolbar. You need to choose a color. I'll choose red to make it highly visible. Then you simply click on the points to create your area. If you make a mistake, you can use the Edit, Undo, or use the Undo button on the main toolbar, or use the Ctrl-Z shortcut. You can also add exact points by typing coordinates on the keyboard. For example, as I type in 10, 50, you can see it appear down on the status bar. Hit enter to accept the point. To finish the sample area, you can choose Edit, Sample Areas, Finish New Sample Area, or simply right click on the map. If everything is okay with your sample area, a dialog will show you the size of the sample area. If the area crosses over itself, a dialog will tell you that the area is invalid and will be removed. Oftentimes, you'll want to create a sample area to match features on a map. I'll start a blank project by clicking the New button on the main toolbar. Then I'll load a map file by clicking the Load Map button on the main toolbar. I'll choose the file called base.dxf. This file should have been loaded into your My Documents Visual Sample Plan folder when you installed VSP. See video M100 if you need help loading a map file. I'll click OK to accept all the default layers for the map. Suppose I want to create a sample area that matches this building on the right. I'll use the zoom window to get a closer look. I'll click the New Area button and choose Magenta. It would be almost impossible to click each point exactly on the map. So I'll hold the Shift key down and click. When I hold the Shift key down, VSP creates a sample area point at the closest map point to where you clicked. This makes it possible to exactly match any shape on your map. And then again I right click to finish the sample area. But what if I wanted to create a sample area for this pond? Clicking each of these points would be tedious and error prone. So, after clicking New Area, and choosing a color, I'll just right click inside the area. And this creates a sample area in one simple step. In order for this to work, the map shape must have been drawn in a way that creates a closed area that doesn't cross over itself. If I try to create an area for this line, it doesn't work. You can edit the shape and position of a sample area by editing the black line that surrounds it. See video M310 for more details about editing. You can select and unselect sample areas by clicking on them on the map, or by checking and unchecking them on the layer control. When a sample area is unselected, it's protected from most operations. You can't place sample points on it, and you can't delete it. You can view and edit the sample area's properties by right-clicking on it. For example, you can change the name of the sample area, and you can change the color. You can turn the sample area into a room by setting the room height greater than zero. Room areas allow you to sample ceilings and walls in addition to the floor. You can turn the sample area into a 3D area by setting the 3D height greater than zero. 3D sample areas allow you to sample inside the volume of the space. Changes are applied after you click the OK button. Sample area properties can also be edited by selecting the area on the layer control and changing the properties on the properties window. Increasing the transparency allows you to see details behind the sample area like a background picture. I need to show you one more feature for creating sample areas, the Combine function. 
these two sample areas are separate and distinct. But if I choose Edit, Sample Areas, Combine, or click the Combine button on the main toolbar, they're joined together into a single virtual sample area. They turn on and off together. The Combine function can also create holes in sample areas. If I add another sample area inside of one of these and use the Combine button, it cuts out the center part into a hole. Only the colored portions can contain samples. The white spaces cannot contain samples. You can add islands and holes to any level of nesting. To break all the parts into separate sample areas again, just select from the menu Edit, Sample Areas, Uncombine. 